There have been quite a number of announcements coming out from the channels over the past couple of weeks, and we're trying to do our best to keep you up to date, but we're getting a little bit behind. Today, I wanna to talk about one of the announcements Google made in late February, that's auto-applied assets. Now, if you're anything like me, the phrase auto-applied is not something I get excited about. I'm not a huge fan, I don't like when people do things for me. If you're curious about my ideas around the auto applied recommendations tab, you can check out this video right here. But this announcement actually isn't that bad. I think there's a number of ways that this is being rolled out well, and also there are a number of benefits for certain accounts. So in today's video, I wanna walk you through what auto applied assets are and talk about some strategies of how you can benefit from them in your account. I wanna start off this video by telling you that we're gonna be using a lot of the Google help sections in this video, because quite frankly, I have not rolled this tool out to most of my accounts just yet. So I don't have as much in the platform to show you, but I think that you'll still get the gist of it to decide if automatically created assets are right for you. So in the February 27th announcement, Google said a bunch of stuff about trying to make search better, but we're gonna to cut to the chase. And in the first portion of this announcement, they talked about how they wanna drive creative performance with Google's AI. And the tool that they announced for this is automatically created assets. I'm gonna highlight the section that covers what this does. When you use automatically created assets, your responsive search ads will show the best combination of assets that you, the advertiser, provide, along with new assets that are generated based on your ad's unique context, including your landing page. So if you've been reviewing anything in that recommendations tab that I talked about earlier, you've probably seen the suggestions for some assets that can improve your RSA performance. This takes that just one step further and allows you to opt into automatically accepting them as part of your RSAs. Now, the first thing I wanna clarify for those of you who might be a little bit confused, automatically created assets are for responsive search ads, not ad assets. I'll be honest, I was also confused by this. I thought this was going to be site links, call outs, structured snippets. That is not what this is for. Google changed the name of ad extensions to ad assets, and now they're using the word assets for everything, it feels like, so this is kind of confusing. Automatically created assets, what we're talking about today, are the components, meaning headlines and descriptions, for responsive search ads, not ad assets, or formerly ad extensions. Now with that out of the way, I wanna show you what this could practically look like by using another Google support document where they give some examples. In this section up here at the top, you can see that the advertiser has provided headlines and descriptions of these five different bullet points. They don't really follow best practices necessarily, but it's just an easy example. The ad that results from this would look like this. Now the second component in automatically created assets when you opt into them, is that Google will also create headlines and description assets for that same responsive search ad and add them to additional lines. So in this example, here are the headlines and descriptions that Google has put together. It's only come up with two headlines and two descriptions, but they still augment what the advertiser has added in. So now the third stage of this, down here a little bit, I gotta scroll a bit, is that Google will create resulting responsive search ads with both the advertiser added and automatically created assets for the RSA. So in this example down here, we have the new smartphone seven, which is advertiser provided, as well as our most innovative smartphone yet, also advertiser provided. Several colors to choose from is part of Google's suggestions that they put in here. And then contact free delivery available is all the way back up to advertiser provided up here. Further down the screen, there is a second example that has the first headline, the new smartphone seven provided by the advertiser. Impressive from every angle is provided by Google. And then that first description with trade-in offers is from Google. And then we're back to the advertiser provided contact free delivery available today. So what this is telling you is that Google is going to mix and match the automatically created assets along with advertiser provided assets to create a responsive search ad that it thinks is going to perform the best based on the different context around keywords, search term, landing pages, all that good stuff. So because of that, you might be wondering how you can tell which assets you provided versus the ones that Google provided. Because depending on how big your account is and how closely you pay attention to your ad copy, you could probably forget a headline or description or two that you wrote over the past couple of weeks, months, maybe even couple of years. So let's jump into a client account really quickly. 
I'm sorry, most of these are blurred out, but the place that you can see the performance for the individual assets is to choose your individual ad, click View Asset Details, and then you'll be able to see the asset report, but all the way off to the right here, you'll see Asset Source. As I mentioned earlier, we don't have this opted in for this account, so all of our sources say Advertiser, but if you had opted in to automatically created assets, a number of these would say automatically created next to them, and that's how you can tell them apart from your own. The next thing that I think is important to talk about is the performance implications that Google has seen so far. They say early adopters have seen a 2% increase in conversions at a similar cost per conversion among ad groups with responsive search ads. Now, personally, I don't know anybody who doesn't like 2% more conversions, but I also don't really like to just accept all of the automated suggestions that Google has for me, hook, line, and sinker. So I'm usually a little bit more cautious about that. So let's go through that a little bit, talking about some of the implications and how you can turn it on. So first, as you can see up here, automatically created assets are available to all advertisers in English as an open beta. So that's as of February 27th, 2023. It is available for everybody in English to try and test out. But if we scroll down a little bit, I do wanna show you that there are some upcoming adjustments as well. First, as a part of this update on February 27th, they are making the following adjustments in the coming weeks. Add strength will take into account both automatically created assets and your existing assets when determining your rating. That makes sense since the new automatically created assets will be a part of your regular responsive search ad, just like your advertiser created ones will be. Additionally, automatically created assets will use inputs that you have provided, like your keywords, to customize the headlines and improve the relevance to the query when it's predicted to improve performance. So earlier I mentioned that automatically created assets used your landing page as source material. This is saying that in the coming weeks, they are also going to incorporate your keywords. So keep that in mind. And lastly, you'll be able to remove any automatically created assets that you'd prefer not include in your ads. And this is a big one. You wanna be able to remove copy that doesn't have anything to do with your ad or isn't the right fit or could get you into legal hot water with the wrong phrasing. So you will be able to remove those assets later on. Additionally, these automatically created assets are going to be expanded into additional languages later this year. So we've gone through pretty much everything. I've just got two last things that I wanna show you. And the first is going to be how to apply this in your account. I'm back in the client account. I'm in the same campaign on the same ad, on the same ad asset report. And I'm currently navigated into an individual campaign. So to turn on automatically created assets, I would need to head over to settings. You'll see in the settings portion, there is already an option for automatically created assets. You just open it up and then you can opt into automatically created assets. Before I do that, I do want to give credit where it's due. This is why I said that this is one of the updates that I actually like from Google because this is not forced upon you or you don't have to opt out of it. This is something that you opt into and you'll remember that I said I'm in one campaign in this account. Automatically created assets live at the campaign level. So if you have 10 campaigns in your account, you can turn this on for one, two, seven, or all 10 of them. You don't have to have this applied at the account level and you don't have to opt out of this. This is something that you actively opt into. So if you currently have an English account, if you go into your campaign settings, all of them will look like this and they will all be opted out of automatically created assets. So to turn them on, you just need to click this dial and it'll say, use my content from my landing page, domain, and ads in combination with assets I provide. Customize assets based on relevance for my keywords. Now, the last thing I wanna do is show you this little warning that pops up when you opt in, just so you can see how dramatic this statement is. Turning on automatically created assets allows Google to help you generate headlines, descriptions, and other assets using content from your landing page, ads, and domain. But the two things that you have to accept here, by using this service, you affirm that you have reviewed your landing page and domain content and represent that it is accurate, not misleading, and not in violation of our advertising policies or applicable laws. So basically, your website's on the up and up, and it's okay for them to use content from your site. Second, by using this service, you acknowledge responsibility for your ad content, including an obligation to review and monitor that content for accuracy, agree to turn off automatically created assets as necessary, and agree to indemnify Google for liability arising from it. This entire thing here, 
when you click turn on, says that you accept that it is your job to monitor all of the automatically created assets that Google puts together for you, and you waive any of Google's liability. This might sound dramatic, but again, if you've done the first step and you've assured that your website is clean and clear, you should be fine on the second one as well. But because of the dramatic language here, I have some suggestions for you before you turn this on for your campaigns. First is just to please review your site. Make sure that all of the content on the site is free of any sort of legal problems. And unlike dynamic search ads, you can't choose specific pages for Google to pull content from for these automatically created assets. They're gonna use your entire site. So if you've got some really sketchy pages on your site, this might not be the right move for you. Next, start with a very small number of campaigns. You can start with just one if you want to, but don't opt in your entire account right away. Give yourself a fighting chance to execute on the third and fourth bullets, which is gonna be to review the ad creatives that Google puts together for you pretty frequently and adjust and remove the assets as needed. If you opt into automatically created assets, my assumption is that these review and adjust stages are just gonna need to be part of your regular account reviews. They're gonna continue making new assets. You're gonna continue to need to review them and adjust them as necessary. In the end, Aside from not really having a great name, considering that everything is now called an asset, I actually think that these automatically created assets could be a really valuable tool for some advertisers. Personally, I have a hard time coming up with new creative all the time, especially if I've been working on an account for a number of months or even years, it feels like I'm always saying the same thing over and over again. So as long as the site is free of any sort of issues, this could be an easy way for me to start to see more ad creatives that I could use, start to get better performance without having to rack my brain and come up with new headlines and descriptions all the time. But just like any other automated tool, we need to use it with caution. Make sure that you have everything reviewed and you adjust as needed and don't opt your entire account into it right away. Just make sure that you're covered. If you have any additional questions on automatically created assets, responsive search ads, or just anything else that has to do with Google ads, feel free to leave us a note in the comments below. Thanks for watching our video. We really appreciate it. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up below. If you really liked it, maybe think about subscribing to the Paid Media Pros YouTube channel and you'll get alerted every time a new video drops. If you really, really liked it, you can help support the channel by checking out some of the t-shirts that we're wearing on our merch shelf, as well as looking at the super thanks button.